Yo, sometimes you don't got time for that long grind against the CPU, or you don't want to bother with playing against users in Unlimited. That's why you got to hit up my boy Cliff2 underscore 3 on Twitter, help you with all your grinding needs. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? What's good to the 2K community? This is just going to be a quick informational video for you guys talking about Hall of Fame badges. Now, Hall of Fame badges are very, very beneficial in NBA 2K23, my team, as many of you know. People seek to put these out on their cards to either use, sell, but badges really increase how good your card plays on the court, especially the right badges. Now, 2K has done a ton to put different Hall of Fame badges in the game. And looking at my team, I always try to find ways to find cards that have different Hall of Fame badges on them to make my card just play a little bit different or better than they would regular, just the base version of the card. So what ways can you acquire different Hall of Fame badges? I'm gonna show you many of them right now. Before we get to that, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm on the road to 15,000 subscribers. And make sure you guys hit up my boy Cliff if you're looking for any way to grind some of this stuff out. Let's talk about a few options. First thing we're going to talk about is Triple Threat Offline. If you want a Hall of Fame badge from Triple Threat Offline, you can get one by winning 225 games. Now, that is a lot, but you can pace yourself and get towards this, and you get a Hall of Fame badge. This is going to be a random number generated badge, so you are going to just be at whims to know what badge you're going to get. But it could be great, it could be quick first step, or it could be something like Hall of Fame Postman Technician. You just never know what you're going to get. But that's one way to get a Hall of Fame badge. Another way to get a Hall of Fame badge is through Clutch Time Offline. I'm pretty sure it's at 50 or 75 wins. You get one in Clutch Time Offline. And those are the offline um, mode where you can just play against CPU pretty quickly. Now you have the challenge modes as well. 2K has many different challenge modes, and the first one is usually the Signature Challenge. The Signature Challenge every season has a Hall of Fame badge and many other things in it. So I got Hall of Fame amped from this Signature Challenge with Devin Booker, but then you can also go over to the Spotlight or the Skill Challenges. Sometimes the Skill Challenges have Hall of Fame badges in them, as you can see right here. Moments of the week that just dropped today, if you complete all of these tasks right here, you will eventually get another Hall of Fame badge. So it starts off with Apollo's debut. You just have to use this card, one of the cards, score 27 points in two blocks in 12 minutes. But as soon as you get the 27 points in two blocks, the game will end and it'll allow you to, you know, scratch off that one. And you do all of these and it will enable you to then have that Hall of Fame badge. Now that's actually gonna take a little bit of time. But like I said, it is worth it to make some of the cards on your team better. And the next one is one I'm working on right now. Season two spotlight challenges. So you do all the spotlight challenges based on the season rewards that you get for your XP. And then at the end of it, you will get a Hall of Fame badge option pack. Now I like the option packs because it allows you to pick a specific Hall of Fame badge that you want. You may have a choice between limitless range, quick first step, um, pick dodger, um, challenger, clamps, and you can choose which one you want. And I really do like that. That 2K allows you to be able to do that in the mode. Next one we're gonna go over to is through multiplayer. Now, Triple Threat Online Co-op definitely has one in there. It's way up in the tiers, doesn't let you search through, but I've seen some other people play. I think it's around 75 wins or so. You do get a Hall of Fame badge pack. So if you have two other people that you can play Triple Threat Co-op with, especially the competitive style, you can definitely get one from there. Moving over to Unlimited. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm currently 22 and two. Did lose one game to disconnect, but it's fine. Once you get to uh, Season 2 Unlimited Badge Pack, so you start off here with, with five tokens. Once you move up the ladder, you get one badge pack, option badge pack. So I was able to pick up, I think I took Hall of Fame handles for days. Then I get the centerpiece next, and then you move down the line a little bit more. And there's going to be another option pack when you get to 10,900 points. So that's two option packs from Unlimited. You move over to the right a little bit more, and this is if you're winning games or losing games, you just have to get points. 19,525 points, you get another option pack. So you have the opportunity to get about three to five Hall of Fame badges just by playing My Team Unlimited. Next thing is gonna be Clutch, clutch Time Online. Clutch Time Online, same thing, it's around 50 to 75 games, you do get a Hall of Fame badge, and I do think the 100 win mark gets you that centerpiece. So those are the online modes. I'm not sure about Triple Threat Online unless they put it on the boards. 
you won't really see a Hall of Fame badge that much, but they usually are there. Limited, limited you can get one um, if they have it within the rewards. They don't currently have one. They do have a diamond prize ball, which we'll talk about next. So let's move over to the prize balls. A lot of people don't really know about these. So if you do have prize balls in your packs, it's actually hard to search to, 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 to find them. So you need to go over to your team and then go to franchise, search for the ball. And right now, as you can see, I have the Amethyst prize ball in my, um, as the ball I'm using for my game. So if you scroll all the way over to the right, your prize balls will be right here. So you'll have emerald, ruby, gold, amethyst, pink, diamond, diamond. You use that ball in the game and the ball will actually start to crack each time you use it. And once it breaks open, it will have a reward in it. The pink diamond and diamond sometimes has a Hall of Fame badge in it. So that's another way to get a Hall of Fame badge for your cards. Now, if you look into Auction House, the reason why you want Hall of Fame badges, certain cards are going to come base and certain cards are going to come with an extra Hall of Fame badge. As you can see, the price differences sometimes are way more drastic. This Hakeem Olajuwon with six Hall of Fame badges, he comes with six, is going to sell for around maybe 960k, right? This one's already at 960k, but it's probably going to go towards a million depending on the, the number of badges it has on it. This one with 12 is probably going to go pretty high. So the more Hall of Fame badges you have on a relevant card, the more MT you can make from the card. But if, also, if you just want to have an elite card on your team, I know my boy Shiro has a Derrick Rose that he put 17 Hall of Fame badges on because he wanted his card to be better. So it increases the longevity of the card. So it's definitely something I recommend. So all those modes, single player, multiplayer, prize balls, there's so many different ways to get Hall of Fame badges. Make sure you guys are grinding the game if that's something you're looking to do. There's so many ways to make your team better without even having to go buy new players. You can give them different badges as long as they're eligible to take them. And then you can still continue wars getting your XP and doing all the challenges towards your trophy cases. So once again, I like that 2K is putting so many of these Hall of Fame badges out early. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the mode as I am. That was just a quick tip for you guys. Search for those Hall of Fame badges in every mode. You should be able to increase how many you have on your players or be able to sell players for higher prices. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite Hall of Fame badge in the game is. Currently, mine is probably Hall of Fame Glove or Hall of Fame like Menace or Challenger. I love the defensive badges. Let me know what yours is, but I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.